guys and welcome to week four of my 12 week challenge it is monday it's about six quarter past six and i'm literally just about to head to aldi because i want the aldi bread i've never had it before i've come close to buying it so many times but then i'm just like what if i adore it and love it and then can't stop eating it so i'm gonna go get it i also want to pick up some of the seeded crackers um from safeway and what else um pork crackle i need to get some more mince because i'm already out and i literally just bought it on saturday lol i eat mince a lot love me some mince um <laughs> and what else i need to get cotton tips so i can tint my freaking eyebrows otherwise i'm going to be walking around with no eyebrows and i can't be bothered filling them in like full on every day so yeah no um my cauliflower hash browns i decided not to vlog that i just filmed it and uploaded it to my stories i also created a highlight i will leave my instagram down here um you guys can go check it out there but i'm sure most of you would have come over from instagram so you probably would have already seen it but just in case you didn't there's a highlight um i'm gonna go get changed because i'm wearing like gray on gray <laughs> very attractive um, and yeah I'm gonna go get the bread because I just really want to have toast with peanut butter and butter and let me know in the comments below do you think it's appropriate to have butter and then peanut butter so like Tom says to me no that's not right you shouldn't be doing that because it's already peanut butter but i call bullshit because it tastes amazing does anyone else do it let me know if you do because i think it's amazing it's so good anyways i'm gonna get changed now and go to the shops hey guys so i'm just at f45 in broadmeadows this is deanne <laughs> and i'm just about to do my body scan so deanne's gonna film me doing all the stuff and i'll show you guys how it works Really come down, take a high measurement, just put tilting your head back a bit. Okay, just making sure your heels are on the back pads there, that's it. And just grabbing the handles. That's yeah, so a thumbs on the metal pads. That's it. Hey guys, happy Tuesday. It is 8.05. Um, I've come home, had my dinner. Um, I went and had my body scan as you would have seen in the previous um, clip. Um, I did have a body scan not too long ago from Hypoxy, um, but I decided that I would get one with F45 just because um, they're a different type of scan and I feel like it might be a little bit more accurate. So. I decided to do one and you know I've got a clear picture of where I'm starting from um, and then I'm gonna do another one in a couple of weeks just to see uh, where I'm at and how my body's progressing with this type of training as well so yeah I'm gonna take you guys through some of my stats so you can see here this is I'm not too sure what all of this is um, body fat mass 22.5 um, so this is a breakdown of um, my body. So I've got my total weight, which is 70.1, uh, 71.6, which is a lot higher than what it was on Sunday. So Sunday I was 69 kilos and today I'm 71.6. This doesn't worry me too much because obviously, through, you know, it's the end of the day. I'm full of food, water. Um, you're always going to be a lot lighter in the morning. So that's not too much of a concern for me. Um, what I'm really focusing on are these two here. So this is my... Hello. Hi. Do you have to do that when I'm trying to explain? No. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, so this is my skeletal muscle mass. So this is just the muscle that's on my body. And I've got 27.2 kilos of muscle, which is pretty okay, I'm guessing. Deanne at uh, from f45 who did the scan for me said that this was a good number so that's cool um body fat mass so i've got 22.5 kilos of fat on my body um 
If we have a look here, this also shows BMI, which is body mass index. Um, and then we've got my body fat percentage. So my body fat percentage at the moment is sitting at 31.4, which is higher than the scan that I got a few weeks ago. Um, a few weeks ago, it was sitting at a flat 30%. So there is a bit of a difference between the scans. Um, this one, I guess, gives a little bit more of a breakdown. It's got body water analysis. So um, I'm in the normal range, which means I'm not dehydrated, which is good because obviously being on keto, it's very easy for um, for like people on keto on a ketogenic diet to become dehydrated just because our body doesn't hold on to water weight. So that's really good to see. Um, over here we had in body score so mine is 81 out of 100 now the aim is to get your score to 100 um, so this book that comes with it has a sort of breakdown and explanation of everything and um, so this is where i'm sitting 80 to 84 which indicates generally those who actively look after their diet and exercise exercise regimes which is pretty cool because I feel like I do do that. Um, but yeah, always room for improvement. I'd obviously like to be 85 plus. Visceral fat. So what Deanne mentioned was that we want to have our visceral fat 10 and under. Mine is at level eight. So it says here, um, Visceral fat level is an indicator based on the amount of fat surrounding internal organs in the abdomen. This is, this is of particular importance because if visceral fat is high, then there is a greater risk to your overall health. Um, ideally, it would be suggested to maintain a visceral fat level under 10 to stay in a more balanced range. So um, that's good that I'm under 10, but obviously I want to work on getting that a lot lower as well. Um, but yeah, that is my body scan. Pretty cool. I look forward to doing another one of these in probably a few months time. Um, just so that I can, yeah, compare my results and see if F45 is working for me. Yeah, I thought I'd share that with you guys. It's pretty, pretty interesting. But um, yeah, for tonight, I'm not going to do much. I'm probably just going to start getting ready for bed to be honest because I'm pretty tired what are you doing mum yes I'm very tired what are you doing tonight I'm cooking. she's cooking it smells like herbs ginger oh yeah ginger lemongrass chili <laughs> ginger lemongrass chili, chili. <laughs> garlic. garlic I thought you didn't like garlic have you ever met a Filipino that doesn't like garlic? Nobody. Oh, yeah. You. You no. don't like garlic. No, you, you love... Tita oh. Tita oh, garlic. It smells. It smells garlic. <laughs> I like garlic. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to head off. I got F45 in the morning. Got my 515 session. It's varsity, so it's a cardio session. We did Angry Birds today, which was a really good session. I really enjoyed it. Mum, you should come to F45. What's that? It's the new gym that I go to now. Too expensive, I can't afford. Oh. Anyways, good night. Hey guys, happy Saturday. It's about um, 20 to 2 in the afternoon so um this morning i went to f45 at 8 30 i did the 8 30 hollywood class and i loved it it was really challenging um i felt like i was gonna pass out at one point but it was really good and i feel really accomplished that i completed it so that's my six out of six sessions done My watch is like recording everything that I'm saying. Um, can you not, please? That is scary. That shit scares me. I don't like that. That's all done. I um, just made a cheesecake. It's my dad's birthday today, so 
Um, I just made a cheesecake for him, a keto one, and I'm going to bring it over to him um, just with some presents and to go see him and stuff. So, yeah, um, I'm going to do that either today or um, I usually see him on Sunday anyway. So depending on, like, I message him and ask what time is a good time to come over. But, um, yeah, we'll see what he says. Um, so I did my shopping straight after F45. Um, I haven't had any meals yet. I had a protein shake. Um, I tried the cookies and cookies. No, I tried the peanut butter crunch one um, from the stuff that Rachel sent me. Did I show you guys all the stuff that Rachel sent me? Well, Rachel... Um, most of you guys would know her. Um, she sent me some protein powders. Um, she sent me a Ray's energy drink, which was so yum, by the way. I'm so excited to get more. And she sent me some um, these tablets that are said to have more. Uh, I don't even. I'm not even speaking correctly. So this, um, these supplements. Um, this supplement is said to have um, is said to be better than adrenal switch at helping you get rest and recovery and all that kind of stuff so yeah I'm hopefully gonna try that out tonight I didn't want to try it out last night because obviously I had to wake up this morning for f45 so <coughs> I'll probably try it out tonight anyways um, yeah I'll probably my hand like my arm is really hurting to hold this up so yeah, I'll probably check in with you guys later. Hey guys, welcome to week four's weigh-in. I did have every intention of making myself look presentable today, but look, I've had a rough day and I'm trying to meal prep. I'm trying to get everything sorted for next week. So I'm just coming to you from my pajamas and my disgusting hair. So it's all real on this channel. <laughs> Um, so this week was a good week in terms of exercise. I did my six out of six out of six F45 sessions. Absolutely smashed it. Had an amazing week in terms of exercise. Um, yeah, feeling like my fitness levels are really improving. I feel honestly so incredible. Um, I still 100% stand by the statement when I say that F45 has probably been the best thing that I've done in a long time to help me get out of my comfort zone and for my fitness because yeah I feel like I am just kicking goals in terms of exercise which I'm so happy about like I'm so happy I'm so pumped to have doms all the time so I'm yeah I'm just absolutely loving it Something that I need to work on though is, look, it's, it's, it seems to be a common theme that every time I get my exercise right, perfect, my eating starts to fall a little bit, which is okay because obviously I'm not perfect and there's always room to improve. So that is something that I'm going to be focusing on this week forward, not solely my eating because I, th I find that when I focus solely on my eating, my exercise won't be up to scratch. And then when I focus solely on my exercise, my eating won't be up to scratch. So my focus for next week is trying to find that perfect balance. Um, I want to be able to do both well. So I'm prepping all my food right now as we speak. So literally Monday to Friday, I'm prepping all of my food so that I have no room for error. Um, sometimes I would just, <coughs> excuse me, sometimes I would just prep from, for Monday to Wednesday and then I'll prep again on Wednesday for Thursday and Friday. But I was like, no, nah, this whole week, I'm just going to prep every single day, even my dinner, even though I could really cook dinner when I get home, but I'm just like, no, I'm going to make my dinner in advance so that I don't have to think about prepping. I don't have to spend time prepping, um, during the week so that it's already done. Um, so yes, I'm going to focus on getting my eating right. Not to say that I had bad food. It's just I had extras here and there. So I've been adding in protein shakes after F45. 
because I've been a lot hungrier. Um, which I'm not too concerned about the protein shakes. I'm more concerned about the fact that I had a Quest bar on um, Tuesday. Had a Quest bar. Um, I've been having some of the Olina seeded crackers, which again, okay for keto, but on top of all of the other food that I'm eating, probably not a great idea. Um, I had the Aldi low carb bread and that is dangerous for me. I cannot have it. I, I will just continue to eat it if it's there. I've got another loaf. It's frozen. Um, so I'm going to see how it goes just being frozen and just staying there. So yes. Um, yeah, those are the sorts of things that I've been having. Not crazy, like bad things, but yeah, things that aren't in my meal plan. Um, I did eat out twice this week, so I think it was Thursday. I forgot to bring my lunch with me to work. Forgot to bring my lunch with me to work, so I just got a Nando's salad, which was um, the bacon, chicken bacon and avocado salad. Um, and then on Friday night, Tom and I just got out of the house for a bit. We never do that. Um, we never really go out anywhere anymore so um, I decided to not eat dinner at home and save my calories for um, eating out and we just got grilled and I got it on a low carb bun I got this truffle mm. so yeah I ate out twice this week which is okay I mean I wanted to spend quality time with my boyfriend so I'm I did that and you know, I still was able to find a keto option. It wasn't on my JRF plan, but that's okay. So, yeah, it's not every every day that we go out to eat. Not like we used to. Oh, my gosh. I, Tom and I were literally talking when we were eating out um, on Friday. And we were like, wow, we literally used to eat out, like, all the time. On the scale this week, I put on 600 grams. So that's okay. Um, I mean, it's 600 grams. I think that it's probably because I'm coming up close to that time of month. And that's probably going to happen maybe next, maybe sometime the in week five. I reckon that's going to come. Um, so yeah, I'm not too stressed about it. Like, it's okay. I still feel amazing i feel so good i'm loving life at the moment um, i get so many comments and messages telling me that like i just sound and look and just am more happy and i i am i'm happier i feel on top of the world so yeah i'm just loving life i'm loving life i'm loving everything <laughs> But yeah, anyways, just a quick one for this weekend, this weekend, this week's check-in, guys. I hope you've had a fabulous week and I will see you guys next week for week five. <laughs>